This is day one of a new development log of a game which I've provisionally titled How Deep because the idea is how deep does it go? You don't know. Um, and some of the inspiration, if you look over here, well, that's probably where my face is, but in the middle of the screen, this piece of artwork where you've got this man who's inside a normal world with a sun and trees and everything that makes up normal life on Earth, and then he sticks his head outside of the boundary between what we know and what we don't know. And outside there, you can see the workings of the universe, the mechanics behind the universe, and he's like, what the fuck? And that's sort of a feeling that I want to capture in this game, that feeling of you being in a world that makes sense and what you know, and then you stick your head outside and you're just like, holy fuck. And I want to try and create that sensation again and again. And something else that I've got a screenshot of in here in my note is this key from Banjo-Kazooie, which is an old Nintendo 64 game. I remember seeing this key as a kid and just being so fucking, what, like, I couldn't get my mind off it, like, because I didn't know how to get to it, it's locked behind this, um, sheet of ice, and it's just taunting you, there's nothing else like it in the game, and you've got no idea how to get in there, and I remember thinking about this for ages and ages, and it just fascinated me, and really captivated me, so, I want to try and recreate that feeling of having secrets in this game that you can see, but you're just like, how the fuck do I get to that, and just, yeah, I want to create that feeling, so that's, that's what I'm going for, um, I'll show you what I've got so far, basically, the way that I'm going to try and do this, I want to create, I want it to be a simple game, a little bit of platforming, a little bit of AI trying to kill you and shit, but <laughs> that's sort of not the point, the point that I wanted to try and get in this game is a sensation of them being more to the world than what first meets the eye, and so the way that I'm going to do that is, um, just with a simple interaction, a way for the player to interact with the world, but everything that you interact with does really weird stuff when you interact with it. Um, like the transforms of things change, maybe shit rotates, maybe things get bigger, maybe things get smaller, maybe things disappear, maybe things start to act in different ways, like the physics might behave differently or something like that. Um, and so what I've done so far is, I'll show you what I've done, I've just got a first person character, um, We'll go full screen. I've just got a first person character. Can jump, can sprint, can move, and he's got a reticle. And you can just interact with the line trace um, on the screen. And this thing here, this is just a static mesh that came with the map. And um, when you interact with this, I've given him a component that just makes it scale up like that. And if you interact, it goes back down. And so I figured it could be cool to make a whole different bunch of puzzles where you're constantly resizing shapes and trying to figure out how to navigate through a level. So like for an example, like if you were on top of this, boom, click, now you can get to new places or something. I don't know, man. That's, um, that's what I'm going for. So that's my devlog. Day one of how deep. We'll see how we go.